one team that I'm really excited to see continue to grow and continue to perform and hopefully build up to something very special in 2026. Yeah, man, I got a team like that, though. Yeah? I'm scared. I have a couple teams, though. So this is just okay, one of them. Okay, I'm scared. Okay. This is okay. just one of them. Okay. And it's Japan. Okay. Good, yeah, good, good, it's good, Japan. Good, 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 yeah. uh, just beating Germany 4-1. Incredible display. And then they played like a B team, and they beat Turkey 4-2. Mm-hmm. Absolutely incredible. We s- the thing is, for the last, I'd say, eight, seven years, Japan has flirted with actually breaking into the upper echelon of like the best eight teams at a World Cup. They have flirted with it, bro. Oh, yeah, that, that Belgium result. That Belgium result. And then in 2022, having an yeah. incredible group stage and then, you know, playing well. I thought they were absolutely fantastic. Mm. And, you know, in that build up to 2022, one thing that we highlighted in our deep dives was Japan's no longer a team of like one star and then a good um, no. supporting cast. Every single position has something a little bit different, a true flair to every single player that plays for Japan right now. And I think they're building up to something very special in 2026 because I think at Japan's peak, they could probably play the best team style football at the international level. And I think that can go very, very far. You know, in, in, in a sport, which is the international game, that is, you know, very reliant mm-hmm. on stars for every single team. I think Japan goes completely against that curve and just displays the absolute incredible talent that they have in pretty much every single position. And the way that they're playing right now, the way that they've been playing, I just, I just only see them getting better. I think a big milestone will, for them will be winning the Asian Cup that's happening yes. in January. I think they have to win that. They have to. They prove have to. Them, prove to themselves that they are the best on the continent right now. Do it in style. Play the way that they're playing. And then from there... They qualify for 2026, top of the group, or however they end up doing it. And do they go into the best form of their lives as a nation into, into the USA for 2026? I'm incredibly excited to see how this Japanese team can grow because it's not dependent on one guy. It's dependent on a conglomerate of this entire 11. And that's really exciting for me to see. Yeah, I, I see the potential that Japan has. I completely recognize everything you're saying. I, I think the step I want them to take is to... I wish there was a way to do it, but to have confidence against truly elite sides mm. is something that I want them to gain. If it, it, I feel like that's the biggest hurdle they have to jump, yeah. right? They were able to beat a Germany team, but Germany, as we've seen, has been in shambles yeah. recently. That's They got their fucking number now. It's beautiful to see. But I think a lot about Morocco, who was a very good organized team. Didn't They had their stars, but it wasn't about them. It was about how they played fluidly as an entire system. I see Japan as a very similar type of approach, mm. but ultimately Morocco flamed out against a top, top oh, side yeah, yeah, yeah. in France. For Japan to do what Morocco couldn't, I want them to be able to, you know, go toe to toe against like a French side in this, in this example and be able to, you know, beat them and defeat them playing truly team football. I don't know if there's a way to prepare yourself for that. I think that's just something we'll find out the day that game arrives <laughs> yeah, at the man. tournament. Yeah, yeah. But up until then, that's the only thing, only concern I would ask them because that is what I see as their true potential. That is what I see as them ultimately achieving is truly something special for an Asian side to go that deep into the tournament and take it to one of the best teams in the world, man. Yes, and th- that, that reason is why I have Japan as one of my most exciting storylines because I think finally Japan has the potential to actually break that, to actually oh, do it. Because like I said, they've been oh, flirting man. with it. They get there and yes, they stumble. Yeah. But I think now they get there in 2026 and I think we might see a different result. But, but yeah. it's, it's going to take a lot. I'm not yeah. saying it's going oh, yeah, to happen, yeah. but if there is an Asian team to do it, I have never felt more confident about this specific Japanese team. I, I, th- I think, okay, I figured out what I'm trying to express. CONCACAF and Gomebol teams will have Copa America to measure themselves. Mm-hmm. European teams will have the Euros. Japan has Asia. I know. I and, wish they got invited to like the yeah, Copa America dude, or something. I, I wish yeah. they could get into the Euros, I think, would be an incredible thing. You know what would be interesting is I, I, the Gold Cup in 2025, it might be expanded. Yeah. Maybe yeah. they invite. Because Japan got invited to the Copa America in 2011. But oh, nice. unfortunately, they couldn't play because there's a tsunami in Japan or whatever. Yeah. Uh, really unfortunate. Um, but may- maybe they get invited. That would be so something man. like a gold cup or something. Yeah. That could be interesting. God, it still wouldn't be like you know Europe, but I don't know if 
South American teams would get invited to the Gold Cup. I don't know. But there's, I, I wish there could be something like that. The World Cup title hopes rely on an invitation. Is what yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah, just so, saying, I, that's the only thing I wish they could have that I know that CONCACAF teams, Comebol teams, and European teams have. The top teams will be able to do it. Yeah. I wish Japan could get it. But regardless, I do see them as a very special side as well. Yeah.